Guys, it's here. Apparently he's pretty spunky. I'm so happy. It's definitely not every day that you are able to obtain one of your dream snakes that you've had on your list for well over four or five years. Fortunately, in this video, I will be showing you guys me receiving one of my dream species of snakes that I've been waiting years to get. I'm not gonna share what it is, although I guess you can probably tell by the title, but if you don't know by the title, you're gonna have to stick around to see exactly what we got. Before we're too far into the video, I do wanna mention a huge thank you to my good friend, Cody Joe from the reptile shop, Red Deer. Thank you so much, man. Your dedication to this hobby is insane and your dedication to your customers is incredible. So I wanna thank Cody Joe. If you guys haven't seen the video I did with him, I'll leave a link somewhere up in the cards above for you guys to go check it out, but he has some insane stuff and his shop is incredible. So make sure you go check it out. I'll leave his his links and stuff in the description. Any way, shape, or form, she's absolutely nuts. Um, but this is a gravid female. She just had her pre-lay shed uh, like last night. So within a month, she should hopefully lay some eggs. It I is a few days before it actually arrives, so I'm gonna set up its bin, make sure it's all ready and at the proper temperatures for the little guy. That was so gentle. So gentle. For this little guy, we're going to be setting up a relatively small kind of preliminary setup today because he is, from what I understand, pretty small and he will also be upgraded in the very near future. We have a little water dish here, got a little hide for him, and then we have various things like cork and a couple plants. You guys can see it all there. What we're going to be using as a base is the cocoa chunks. Now this stuff is already pre-moistened, so it's gonna hold humidity really well. One of the critical things with the species that I'm getting is that it is not good to have it on just entirely water. We'll put the hide over the heat at the back. For the following few minutes, I essentially just fiddled around with the various different materials that I had sitting here, trying to create something semi-presentable. Am I proud of how it ended? Not particularly, but believe me, I will redeem myself when it comes down to making a display vivarium for him. I'm super stoked for that build. I've returned with a much smaller water dish, which allows him a little bit more space. And as far as I know, these guys do not like to soak, so. Should be no issue there. I think now it's time to anxiously await for a few days for our package and just toss this in the rack and see what the temperatures get up to. Guys, it's here. He's here, I should say. I don't wanna shake him around, so box is still unopened. I did take the label off because you guys are creeps and I don't want you to know where I am. <laughs> just kidding, I love you. Anyways, this is the box that I've been waiting for, for in theory years, but literally three months, four months, something like that. Enough of me blabbling, let's unbox it. Got the trusty opening knife, let's go. Heat pack is still warm, so that's good. Inside the box, we're looking at crazy difference, hey? 83, 76. Good to know. It was on the cooler side. Oh, there it is. Oh man, I'm 100% gonna get bit. Apparently he's pretty spunky. And this is a male. Hi, little guy. How are you? Oh my goodness. Check him out. And I haven't been bit yet. That's nuts. I'm so happy. Can you take a sec to chill? Thank you. All right, guys. You guys have now seen me set up the tank, bring him in and unbox him, and now you guys can meet him. So this is... My little Savu Python, Lyasis Savuensis. I'm surprised he's not biting the crap out of me right now. I'm, I'm happy he's not. He's definitely very anxious to get going. He hasn't really sat still at all 
since I've taken him out. You guys can just check out his coloration. He's kind of in the middle of his ontogenetic color change. He starts off this orangey color that you guys can see. You can see all the black flecking that he has there. They mature into kind of a browny, blackish gray almost. And some of them will have high amounts of orange. Some of them won't. Um, I'm hoping that he does, but who knows? If you guys have any name suggestions for this little guy, please leave them in the comments down below. I'd really like something kind of related to where he's found, his lifestyle, that kind of deal. Look up some cool names for me. I'm obviously going to look into it as well, but this is the new Savu Python. Again, I want to thank Cody so much for all of his dedication to breeding these guys. I was hanging out with Cody when he got these as imports and he's been working with them for probably six or seven years now. So they have finally produced and this is from his first clutch. His hatch date was July 23rd. It was right after we got back from our trip to Calgary and filmed at his place. He did show us in the video him and the incubator of these and then they hatched shortly after. So that being said, let's go put him in his little bin for right now. I'm just gonna let him slither on into there. And he's just gonna burrow himself, apparently. Not sure where he's planning to go or what he's planning to see, but uh, this is his new home for a few months until he's eating readily. And then he'll be upgraded when he's outgrown this to a larger bin and then eventually into a much larger display vivarium. These guys in a naturalistic habitat. Obviously, it's not his natural habitat, but can't wait for that day. For now, he'll be in here. All right, you guys, and that is going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really enjoying making more content for you guys at a more rapid rate, so I'm very happy. I hope you're happy, and I'm also happier that I got one of my dream reptiles, as I already mentioned. I've been wanting Savus for years, and finally Cody has produced them, and I was able to purchase one. So I do want to thank Cody Joe so much because he gave me this opportunity, and I was fortunately at the top of the list, so I ended up getting one. So I want to thank you very much, man. Again, links down below to him, links down below to my Instagram, as well as our website. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. I don't want to blabble on too much, but I really sincerely thank you all. If you like the video, make sure you click that like button if you want to see more of this content, if you want to see the Savu grow up, make sure you click subscribe as well as ding the notification bell right next to it. That way you get notified every single time I post a video. It's weekly at this point, so you know, do the thing. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comment section down below as well as name suggestions for the brand new Savu. I want to thank you all very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.